We return, ladies and gentlemen, to the wonderful world of Hob, where we found this creepy underground lair in a giant gate. Last time, pushing our way through the electric planes, riding the Superdome, and making our way underground as we gained the teleportability and potentially so much more. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for being a part of this. You guys can still enter to win that awesome custom Hob console. All you gotta do is click the link in the description below. I encourage you to do so. It looks very freaking awesome. Thanks, as always, to Perfect World for making this series possible. What are we trying to do? Okay, that gate needs to go. Let's uh, let's try punching this button and seeing what that would do. Oh, there we go. Lowering the gate. It was as easy as a simple punch. That's not how the real world works. But in Hob, a giant hand goes a long, long way. And now we are raising the world back up. And continuing it beautifully. There's such a good pace here, I feel. Early on, I'll be honest, it did startle me a bit that it was so open-ended, but I feel like once we got in the groove, especially last episode, it's been incredibly enjoyable to make near consistent and constant progress as we gain new abilities, access new areas, and learn more and more about the world. Alright, that's zooming us along. Checkpoint Charlie. And, um, wait, 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 let's quickly see, is there something else beyond here? Ooh. That looks like something cool could go in there that we do not yet have. So we'll exit this space and, uh, come back later if we need to. Alright, dear Hob. Oh, we're, never mind, I thought we were coming back, but we're not. We're still engaged in a wonderful puzzle extravaganza. Um, taking those guys out quick is important, because I honestly believe that they open these doors and like clockwork will bring out some clockwork soldiers to try and take us down so they are the guards of the temple and i'm not a fan i am a fan of this whole teleportation thing especially since you can rotate the teleporting platforms i think that's pretty cool i'm um, apparently in the original release of hob on pc i'm um, i believe ps4 there were a lot of issues with the camera and people not being able to see jumps and people not being able to look around corners and whatnot so Panic Button has done a really good job, because I never thought that was an issue. And it was, apparently, but because they've enhanced the camera system um, and, and made the Switch version better, it all flows perfectly. I think that's so good. There are so many Switch games that are worse, you know? But I'm glad that they, like, took the time to make this a better version of the game. It, it really... It's not cool when you get a port, and it's just... It's worse. Like, the Switch does not deserve that. The Switch is such a good system, and it honestly deserves the world. So, um, we're probably going to die here. That was not good. All right. I got to dodge his little projectiles and then go in for a quick hit or two. But anyhow, yeah, I'm just, I'm very glad that they have enhanced versus um, reduced. All right, dude, are we supposed to fight this guy? Are we supposed to just solve a puzzle while fighting him? What's going on here? No, I got to come back down, right? Yeah. Oh! I did not know that that drop even would hurt our little guy, but now I have learned. Okay. So that's a, a decent little fall and a bit, of a bit of stair climbing to do, so let's do our best to not get hit. What is... Wow, okay. Goodness gracious sakes alive, this dude's a psychopath. This definitely is a boss battle of sorts, though. Coming over here. Whoa, okay. I definitely have to thin out the horde on the ground because uh, otherwise it's going to get very hard to maneuver. Okay, please. Ooh, good dodge. Okay, I did get a hit in on him. <laughs> Not a lot of hits, but a hit. And he's going to fire a few of these. Teleport over via the giant orb of electric pain. And then um, I'm gonna get two more hits in. These guys are good for a little bit of health pickup. It's tricky, like, honestly, I don't wanna, I don't know, like, it, it's more difficult than, like, Zelda combat. It's not Dark Souls combat, obviously. That would be taking it, like, on way too high of a level, but it's pretty darn awesome. And I love that these, like, some of these guys take, look, 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 look how many hits this dude is taking. I like it, though. He's basically a boss. And we're doing a pretty good job of keeping him at bay. Ooh, okay. Oh, he's dead. We felled the freaking fierce foe. And we got a whole lot to upgrade. I wonder if there's other 
points that you can access the workshop or if it's only back at that one area. I'm not quite sure. These things look menacing. Oh, okay. Am I breaking this down? Yes, I am. All right. So let's crush all of these. There we go. Shut down whatever they've got going on here. And break it. Okay. We broke all three. I wonder if that would have helped in taking down the boss. Because it doesn't seem like it did a whole lot for us here. But we'll continue along. And, uh... What is this? An upward teleport? Weird. You see how it's like the vertical air you can see? Moving? That's so strange. Where does this one take us? Across the way. Interesting. And back there. Okay, so we gotta clearly go and rotate some of these do a little nifty puzzle solving to progress i'm, I'm loving this more and more I, I really like where it's going and how these internal areas are so puzzle heavy like honestly that's what i wanted out of the game so i'm glad activation station kicking things into high gear with another little bottle of goo and it seems like we also stopped the um the electric orange parade from uh, causing us to have a Fanta fail. All right, it goes right in here. They're probably just like power canisters, honestly. Like they have like electricity in them or whatnot. Um, but I like to think of them as goo, especially because kind of a Ninja Turtles fan. So the the secret of the ooze is uh, is important. All right, now we can teleport. It sounds like it might be on a timer, so let's go quick. That took us across. There we go. I don't... I can't... That can't be activated. Hmm. I wonder if there's, like, some secrets to activate more of those. Because typically that looks like something that we would cash in on. But we can't. Okay. In the center of the space. Um... That's not good. Alright, so... We have to... It looks like go down and break these things apart. Something is holding these gears in place. I'm surprised for how much the perspective changes. Like, the the controls work pretty darn well, and you always feel like I have a good grasp on where I need to be. Like, it's not a case of, like, hey, um, am I going up? Am I going down? What's going on? I don't know if that one's on a timer or not, but let's try to be quick anyhow. Down and around. Whoa. Camera shifted there, and luckily I did not veer off course and accidentally end up in the pit of lightning. That would have been uh, quite painful. Almost did there by my own um, own accord, but it sounds like... Okay. Whew. It kind of sounds like there's a timer on, but maybe not. I, I kind of hear it. I kind of don't. Okay. Should be good now. Everything is immobile and ready to move. Rotate and shudder the spectacle below. But at the same time, power up a different mechanism? It's rotating all the gears, maybe to open and unlock? Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, that's... That doesn't look shut off to me. That looks pretty powered up. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to get out of here. But, oh, now this is activated. Remember, this was dead previously. I was right. It did need to be turned on, and then that's going to zoom us straight up and out of here. Aha, now this one is also activated. Okay, so really good minimal backtracking, but with a purpose there. I didn't know we had an overhead slash. I knew we had a, a ground pound with the, the punch, but I didn't know we had an overhead slash. Whoa. Okay. Grabbing this guy. Oh, this is the one that previously wouldn't move, right? Now it does. And... We're going back to the surface? Maybe? Yes. Looks like we're going to solve this entire area today. How wonderful. How you feel about me now, grapes. After all these days of grape juice struggle. Remember how much they tore us to bits in the beginning. Now, 
we are able to manipulate entire worlds. So suck on that grape goofballs. A new quest marker. Um, where is our... Oh, our walker is over there. It's called a walk. I'm still going to call it Superdome because that's a much better name. Um, but let's head this way and pick it up. I'm guessing this, like, big platform is our place to walk across? Yeah, it looks like it. These are shut off, right? Yes, they are. Okay. Oh, hey. What up, my dudes? Yeah, lose that armor. Okay, I need to charge up. I need a full charge. Come on. Oh, really? Seriously? Uh. Ow. Gosh, now it needs to charge up again. Alright. Gotta get these guys out the way so they don't bother me when I'm trying to fight Mr. Feisty here. Okay, there we go. Finally. And then we're just gonna go all offensive on him. Yeah, get out of here. Give me your goods. Thank you so much. 88. Push him to 100 strong and we should hopefully then be able to uh, grab a lot of goodies next time we go back to the workshop. Okay, where is the walker? Oh, the walker's back. Okay. Must have missed it. It is... Not this way. Let's see. Is it this way? Yeah, it must be this way because then I can walk across the big wide area. Yeah, here it is. Okay, cool. Alright. Let's gain control of Superdome once more and walk this big beast across. Honestly, this is like Possibly my favorite part thus far. I love controlling this big platform thing. Alright, now we can continue to move through the world. And I think we gotta go right. Yeah, absolutely. His feet are not fried, which is good to know. And uh, it seems like this is where we want to be. Yeah, it's right in this general vicinity. Let's head over here. There must be something else to unlock or engage or deal with. Is that a checkpoint or what is that? Hmm. Oh. Extra goodies. We really should upgrade soon. We may want to. Next time I find a fast travel point, let's see if I can fast travel back because I have what a hunt. Yeah. Pushing triple digits, baby. That is brilliant. Okay, where do I want to go with this? Not there. Um, let's get across. Oh, I guess I guess it's okay if it sits here, honestly. I can just, um, we cannot yet make our way through, so let's go up this way. Can we roll off? Yeah, bye bye I like that. Now I don't even deal with you. Masterful. Okay, let's stay on the high road here. Looks so like there's a teleportation station. Hmm. Alright. A little bit dangerous here. Go, 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 go. Lots of vine pits. Doom and despair. Okay. Shut it down. Magical. Alright. That's what I'd like to see. Okay, this guy wants to ruin my day. Not gonna let it happen. We'll just quickly stomp on him with this walker. Brilliant, let's go. And good night. Nice and easy. No armor breaking. No attack waiting. Let's take this thing. Can we take it straight in here? Interesting. Is this where it needs to be? It seems like I would just walk it right in, right? That powers the whole platform. Oh, okay. No, I need, I need to sit it down. Yeah, this walker clearly belongs here. Okay. Let's climb up and see. Maybe it's actually activating that... Um, wasn't there a teleportation? No. I think it was back up here. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's right there. Maybe it's that? Or is it activating something else? Maybe it's the teleportation spot. Let's hit that and see. Yeah, I bet it's this, because this is probably going to let us climb up to the top, and there's probably something to activate up here that previously was off, but now is on, thanks to... Yeah, okay. 
Grab this guy. Ugh, so freaking heavy. As we continue to pull. There we go. Open sesame. All right. Now we got to open that probably on the higher level. Whoa. Probably shouldn't climb <laughs> ladders sideways. Not a smart move, especially this high up. Alright. Not the sword. I don't think you can possibly get damaged by those lightning guys. Wait, do I need to keep it like right here? Let's see. I'm guessing it's there. Let's go down and, and find out. Whoa. I love that he auto grabs on. Otherwise, we would have so many unintended falls. Yep, that was the right way. Is it going to suck our Superdome all the way up to the top? Whoa. Okay. Oh, of course, we're going into the earth. Oh, I'm not going to the earth, just him? Wow. There's some electric ball things behind. Can I just step into the blue abyss? I cannot. But, this was all activated. And now, if we follow the magic lights, let's see where they lead. A new little wheel. Uh-uh. Rising up. And finding ourselves a different place to explore. Are you going to bring this gate down? No. Where even are we? I'm wondering if I have to go back to our, our dad guy and say, Hey, look at all the brave, amazing work I've accomplished. Schematic for teleport behind enemies. Nice. Yeah, we absolutely have to get back to um, our forge or whatever it's called. That's our quest point. There's a fast travel right by it. Um, maybe I can just walk right... No, I can't. Okay. So we unlock this special schema. Can I? Is there like a nice... Is this a fast travel place? Kind of looks like it should be. Probably not, but it looks like it should be. Here we go. There we go. Across all the chasms. And now I'm right here back by our friend. What's up, dude? I powered on your weird cube ball relic. Follow the path? Yeah? Here? Jump and press this guy? Doesn't it look like we can jump and press this guy? No, what's over here? Oh, that's still down there with the creepier, bigger enemies. I Can I go? What, what do you want me to do, man? Hmm. Doesn't it? Oh, oh, yes, this is a switch, right? Ladder down, platform and ladder down. Perfect. Okay, but before we venture into what looks like a death trap, uh, let's go and grab some upgrades. This is the place to upgrade, right? Is it not? Maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, we're underground, so we can't quite see. No, there's nothing here yet. I thought the forge was right by us. Is it over and up? No. What the heck? Where's the forge? It's close by. Is it down a screen? Yeah, okay. It's over a screen. It's right here. Here we go. All right. Finally get a chance to cash this stuff in. I don't know if we have enough for a full-on sword upgrade. Let's go see. I'm not quite sure which currency. That's something that's a little unclear to me. It's like, which currency is which? I don't really quite know. Can we fill up? Doesn't seem like it. All right. But here we can grab stuff. Okay, we got warp through to teleport behind enemies. That seems pretty darn cool. 
Um, improved rolling dodge. A powerful sprinting attack. Oh, I like that. Third more powerful attack. That's probably good, too. Let's grab that one. I'll grab warp through. And then do we want the thrust or do we want agility? Probably a... Prob... Mm, how much of an improved roll is this? I like the improved roll. Thanks. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. All right. All sorts of new abilities now. We can now teleport behind people. We have now a better roll. We now have a third combo slice. Um, and we also have... Whoa. There's different outfits. I did not know that was going to be a thing. Okay. Well, now that we've completed the lightning quest, now that we have upgraded our wonderful arm and sword... Now I think we're ready to head into that dangerous place below. Did they put a new quest marker on our screen? They did not. But this map, like, it, it looks like it's going to be pretty big. I love an interconnected world. And uh, this one surely seems to hold a lot. How do I get down there? Wait, wait, wait. Didn't you just activate, like, a whole way down? Wasn't there... Oh, 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 it's a way up. It's a way up. I thought it was assuredly a way down, and instead we're going to this big vista and what looks like a beautiful observatory with a giant crack in it over in the distance, and that is absolutely where we are headed. Okay. Oh, my goodness gracious. They love to keep us high above the earth. Is that a... That is definitely an extra ladder. I love how those just crackle and create new ways to explore and we're gonna head into this uncharted territory look at these guys big monsters that extra sword slash feeling nice they look way more menacing from from up above they look bigger maybe there are some bigger ones these guys are just kind of nice and tiny teleport behind does our teleporting destroy the grass too let's see oh it takes takes a good chunk of my magic meter the whole thing i guess yeah it does it does burn like a trail through the grass. That's kind of cool. Alright, grabbing some more points for that eventual sprinting strike that we will need. But I think right now we're going to wrap up as we venture a new area and are heading toward... Oh, this is still all blocked off, is it not? Yeah, I still can't... Still can't get in there. These guys are nasty. Don't want to mess. I'm going to have to find some way to take them out. Little kitty. Little flower kitty. How freaking adorable. Well, we'll have to be back for that... Okay. They just don't want this episode to end, do they? It's fine. Let's uh, let's let's just fight aggressively. Ooh, bleed and blood. It is a pit of pain, enemies. I like this a lot. How do you feel? Whoa. Ooh. Okay. I wanted to super punch him, but uh, we took him out first. All right, these guys launching some evil orbs. I like these leapers again. Look at that cool perspective switch as they jump in front of us. Okay. We could keep going for ages, and we'll do that when we return. But until that time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate, and we will see you all later.